Let's take a peek. Building your airplane. Let's see. Daddy, I need to go get my little glasses first. Okay. What do the instructions say? Page one. You read them. I don't. I don't want to read it though. I I suck at reading. Well, this is a good time to learn. Well, <laughs> thank you for pur purchasing our tech wing tiger radio control okay. model airplane with powerful outrunner brushless motor. Lot of stuff. <laughs> Everything okay. included except the transmitter. This is the receiver, okay, which receives the signal from your transmitter. Which where is the transmitter at? Huh? The transmitter, the black box transmitter. The radio, you mean this thingy? The, the radio controller. No, the, the big stick through it. You mean that thingy? That thingy. We'll get that thingy. Let's get all your little connections out here. They're just a little I don't know what to, if it's fully charged. Huh? I don't know if it's got batteries well, or Well, I don't think there's anything to charge on this one because it uses AA batteries uh -oh. for the car. For the okay. We want to kind of clean the wires up here just a little bit. At least I do since I'm a little particular about certain things. It looks like the throttle cable here is kind of tangled up around a bunch of the others. Okay. So, I'm going to move them around. I know. And re-plug them back in. Okay. The yellow and the white wire, here's the signal wire. Uh. And it goes up on the top part of the receiver. first airplane. Now that that's going to be a little better, a little cleaner, and I'll get this done for you because this is what I know more about this. Okay, it just fits right down in the little pocket there. See, this is, this is better. Picture. It's got pictures on Good. it. Good, then that, that, well, that's what they're there for. That's why he sent it to you. A little easier for a first timer and stuff like that, but... I know how to do this already. This is what you wanted to learn, and this is why he sent this to you, so that you can learn how to do this. Even if you have to do it from pictures like a cave girl. What? What? Nothing. Just making a comment. Cave girl what? Cave girl. Oh, just because just because I stay in my room all the time does not make me a cave girl. I okay. got it. Daddy's just trying to... Clean up some of your electronic wiring here a little bit. Okay, well that, I guess that'll have to be for now. Okay. Got it. First part is the wings. Let me see your instruction book, since I've never built this plane either myself. And yeah, because it's got tiger on You like it because it's got the tiger on And it's got the Japanese thing, I'm about to come somewhere. You like the Japanese, right? Yes. Okay, this is the winged tiger from Banana Hobbies, sent to us by Pete. We see that. For a first time starter. I'm going to go look through it real quick. It is a brushless outrunner motor. Uses, uses an 11 volt, 1800 milliamp LiPo. It's got 490 servos with a 2.4 gigahertz six channel receiver and four channel transmitter. All right. Assembly steps for the wing. We'll go right there. <laughs> Don't play the rubber bands. Connection to the main wing. Let's, okay, we, do, we are going to have to epoxy the main wing together. So, here's your main wing. And we need the parts for it. We're going to have to, there should be a spar. Okay, you see your little wood piece there? Wood let's, wood move, piece. let's move the fuselage over to the side here. Let's move the transmitter over here to a safe zone since we're using the box as a building table. And I'm going to set those kind of off camera so that I can follow them. See your little wood piece right there? This piece? Yeah. 
we're going to do a, a fit check. See how it's kind of beveled? Uh -huh. It angles down. Because we want the wing to bend upwards. We're going to fit. It's got a little slot already in there for us. And we're going to oh, fit. Daddy's going to have to go get some epoxy here in a minute. Did it come with glue? It already came with glue. Oh, yeah, That's the two-part mix epoxy like Daddy does with his bigger airplanes. Well, I... And that is a tight fit. That is a real tight fit. Right on the other side first. What we call doing a dry fit. We fit everything together, make sure that it goes in nice and snug, and make any adjustments that we need to do. Okay, it fits really good in this side of the panel, but it's a little tight in the other side. little foam thing to help protect the connectors until you're ready to use them. Okay. Ooh, it came with a brush. And then we'll try the other side here. I think I kind of see how this one goes together. Kind of like that. It's got a big reinforcement plastic piece across the top, which is nice. We're going to pull these back out of the way just a little bit. Keep them away from the seam and dry fit it together. It'll go together like that. It takes a little, a little pressure, even pressure. Being careful not to break it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not to break it. And this has individual driven servos on each wing instead of the center with a torque rod, which I really like. That's a lot more positive control as opposed to one servo. Well, Daddy's throwing in some ad lib stuff. Maybe it's a little more technical for those of us who have done it. Okay. Nice deal. And even dry fits a sturdy wing. I almost wonder that probably doesn't even need to really be glued together. I bet you that's you no know, kid. Okay. Now then, we're going to take this back apart again. And get you some paper. And we're going to need to mix the epoxy. Paper? I need. Mean, that is a really hard thing to find in this house. Oh, it is. Well. Find you some paper. A three volt battery. This looks like the same kind of battery that was in the other one, and I bet you there was a mistake. So, we actually got two batteries. Oops. Here is your paper. Okay. Now then. Set both sides of your wings here. Move your parts over there. And let's see what there is here. Now then, for mixing epoxy. Look at there, and all the Japanese writing on that as well. You got a red and a blue. Uh -huh. Okay, this is two part. You mix it up like silly putty and stuff like this. Silly but you putty. have to work really fast, okay? Now then, go get some Q-tips from the bathroom. Don't and we use Q-tips to, to mix up the epoxy. Anything else so I don't have to get up again when well, I get comfortable sitting I down? I don't know. You probably have to get up more than once. This is all part of, hey, building an airplane. It takes a little work and you do have you to... You got my last Q-tip. Please get me new ones. We will get, we, we've got more. Q-tips work really good for mixing up epoxy. <laughs> they act like little brushes and then you can just dispose of them. Come here. Let's see if these are sealed. Oh, these are kind of, that's kind of a different way of doing things. It's got a cap in it. Take the cap of it. It's got the little thing here. You got to twist it off. You put it in there like that. Take it and you twist it and it twists off the top of the cap. A little plastic thing instead of like punching a hole in it. 
Uh, do that one too. Uh, Untwist it. You did do it. Nope, turn it upside down. No, turn it upside oh, down. Oh, gotcha. You take it and use it as like a tool. Twist it. Break it off. Got it. Put it over here and it's just throw it. Okay. Wait, I'm having difficulties with the. It doesn't like me. Okay. Get it? Okay, now let's put the cap back on it. Okay. This is how you mix up epoxy. So, Ew, that's a smell of my hand. Well, Ew. I know. Sometimes it doesn't smell real well and, and it stickies. It doesn't stain my don't... finger right. No, we, it, I got stuff that'll take it off. You take two even parts, like this, and we push them out together like this. Make sure they're even. And then put the cast back on them. Now then, we're going to take this, and real quick, put the cap row on it. Mix it up. Stir it up really good. Kind of like mixing up hot chocolate that's clear. Only needs a few seconds till it's thick. Now then, we're going to take one half and paint it on there. It's real thick like jelly. It's almost like real thick Vaseline. Just on half. Okay? And then we're going to take this and put it in one side of one wing. All the way in until the halfway point where it's marked. Okay? Now, is there any more gluing? Those aren't actually moving on. Now then, I'll go ahead and squeegee out the rest of it here. I'm going to let you do that. Now then, over on another area here, let's squeegee out some more. Make sure it's even. We need a little more of this. It didn't squirt out as much. back on these to keep them from rolling around. Now and then mix, mix that up. This, you know, it's all gooey. Mix it up quick. You know, we got to work I'm quick and it's going to start to set up and get really hard. And try and keep it in a little tight circle. I can't do that. Okay. Now then, take, take that on there without dripping it and I want you to speak right there. Cover that. That and that, and both sides of that wait, wait, wood. Wait, 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 this? Right here, right here, right here, and both sides of that wood. Okay. You gotta work quick, because it's setting up, it's drying right now, it's epoxy. Okay. And I'm gonna help you coat the other side. Not gonna be doing a very good job. Just put it on like paint, it doesn't need to be on real super thick. I mixed up a little more than we needed. Well, my toothpick is ruining, okay. and I got it on my finger again. Well, it's kind of messy stuff, and that's just the way it gets. Stinks. Get it all in there. Get some air freshener for my room. Okay. Do we stick it together, like, real quick? No, 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 no you do that. Because it's I wanted to say something here first. And there is also a metal rod that goes down inside here, and I'll go back over your work here. That should did pretty good. You got it smoothed out pretty good. There, 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 there. Both sides. Joiner. Well, here, let's do this another way. I'm actually going to put some epoxy on this rod. And I'll use my fingers to smear it down and put it in here. Make 
sure your finger doesn't get stuck. It is. It's already starting to set up. And then push these two pieces together real quick. I'm doing the hard part in the chair for you. I went to Daddy's room to get uh, my little razor knife and some of those dirty rags that are on the ground. Get on the ground. Yeah. Oh, my boy. Be quick about it. This stuff's setting up. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to take and do a little modification to this piece of the wing. I think I'm record. Is that on record? Oh. Oops. Yeah, it is. the two pieces come together. All right. We had one spar here that was just a little longer off center than it needed to be and it wasn't allowing the two wings to come together all the way. So I had to run a Dremel tool on it real quick before the glue started to set up. Okay, now then. This already sets the dihedral and there's a metal steel bar that goes inside these spar tubes that are right here that go all the way down to about, looks like about three-fourths of the wing. They end just underneath the decals. And that will set the wing down. Now that I did not put epoxy on the plastic piece up here because we're going to secure that doing another different way. This is basically to keep the rubber bands from tearing things up. Everything. Now then, there's a bottle of alcohol. You saw that little ball squirt bottle? Where? It's in the daddy's room next to the computer right there. We can use the alcohol to get it off your fingers. Okay. And we'll set the dihedral line. It pretty much sets by itself. But we're going to set that off to the side, down on one side. By the nightstand, a white bottle of alcohol. Let's see. And the epoxy's just now curing up, so it's about 5 to 15 minute epoxy. jobs, squirt a little alcohol on it, and we're going to get the epoxy 
off of that plastic that was on our fingers while, we were, while I was touching it before it completely hardened. So it's still nice and pretty. Okay, now then, there's your wing. Your wing is done. Okay, we'll set this off to the side. You can come on back over here. We're doing this the rough way as anybody might do when they get this, might build it right there in their living room floor. Okay. Now your rubber bands are off to the side. You got all your stuff. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, epoxy doesn't smell too good. It's kind of got a smell smell to it. But I'm so glad you do that in your room. <laughs> okay, now then you can do the rest of it. Put it off to the side here. <laughs> move the sharp objects. Now then. You can look at the rest and see what you got here. Now we got to build the tail section back there. So you're going to need your tail pieces and follow your instructions. I don't know how to read. Yeah, read. you are. You're in seventh grade. You I know, know but I don't want to read. Okay. Um, well, look, at, look at the pictures and see what the pictures show you. Probably looks like we're going to need some screwdrivers and stuff, huh? Uh, two long ones? The screwdrivers for the screws. Oh. Okay. We can take the little foam protectors off here. Oh, I know how it goes. I can see. There we go. It goes like this, somehow. Does it just squish back in there? Let's take Pete. Let me see. Those are actually, that's actually supposed to be a hole right there that's not punched all the way out. Maybe that's where the yes, nails go through. We'll see the, 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 the styrofoam is not punched all the way out right here. We just need to kind of help it by finishing it. Take a little epoxy. We'll just take a exacto knife here. Cut that hole out so that that little piece right there can go down inside of it. Now then, you see your two little holes? Yeah, the, don't those where the nails go? Aren't those where the nails go? Yeah, okay, you see the little spots here on this? Uh -huh. We're going to put those together like that. Kind of put this together, see how it fits. Looks pretty good. But I think we first need to put it on. So now we've got it, now we've got it to fit. We can take Take the styrofoam protectors that they put on it off to protect the horns. And, yeah. okay. and this would go in right here where the thing. Yeah, there you go. Let's see. This but where does this go first because this goes? Well, I actually think that there's some screws here. Let's take a look at what. Oh, gotcha. We have to put this on and then this on. So what? We do Let's this see, one first. Those are together, those are together. Connect the vertical fin stabilizer to the fin. Connect the vertical fin to the stabilizer fin to the stabilizer. Insert the minus tailpiece to the fuselage of the minus. And grooves in the rear. Okay, so it must be two. There's a screw. Sure enough, there's screw locations from the rear. Okay. Oops, lost my place. We lost our place here. All right. Yeah. Let's see what kind of hardware it says when you. Need. This thing, this thing, I don't know what the. What are those called? Nails, and then they're small nails, and then these. I have no idea. These are not nails. These are screws. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like a nail. Okay, well I'm teaching you. It's screws. But I think we need to glue. This is going to need to be glued on. Well, I'm just doing what it would look like. That's good. You're directing it. That's what you're supposed to do. Does it fit pretty good? Yes. Is it all the way forward? No. No, wait, yeah. Sort of, but it's wiggly. Well, it's because we haven't, we haven't tightened it down yet.
Okay, there is a slot. That is one more thing. Let me see something. Let me do the right thing. You did the right thing. You did the right thing. Doesn't that wire have to go above it? Hmm? Well, this wire is going to come up to here to this one. This wire is going to connect to that one. Gotcha. Okay, there is a slot. And it does throw in there. Okay, it's just the plastic. It's a plastic backbone. It's just a little misaligned there. But if you use a screw, the okay. screws. All right. Yeah. I can see that the screws are going to screw in here, but I want to see what's actually screwing, what's holding on the... Wouldn't the... Something's got to hold this to this. Wouldn't these go in here? Oh, there are little ones? Yes. Yeah, let me see. How many of them? There should be two? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're going to need a little Phillips screwdriver, or did it provide one? Didn't provide one, and I wait. Mine. Yes, no. Nope. Okay, it does have an Allen wrench and that, but we're gonna need a little Phillips screwdriver. Oh, we could have used this. Yeah, we could. That's for that's what that's for. That was for mixing the epoxy. I didn't know it already came with a little spatula. Let me go get you a screwdriver. Yes. side they go into here. Probably should do one on one side and the other on the other side. Probably not a bad idea. Okay, now we've, you've assembled the, that piece right there. We're going to pre-bend the elevator and the ailerons because they have to move before we put them on. Run the decals down here in the hinge. Kind of make them flexible. Now then, you can do the, the big part. And you know what? Does not like me. Mm -hmm. It takes a little effort. Where did that have to be closed in? Huh? Well, I don't know. We're going to try it. We're going to let somebody else. Now then, it, it shows right here. You take that right there. Take your screws. Remember, remember that plastic piece that was on there? They're going to screw into the bottom. Uh, should, be able, should be able to feel it. Am I doing it the right way or am I doing it the wrong way? Yeah, I think you're doing it the right way. Yeah, I felt one of them right there. Kind of have to wait and feel for it to catch. I 
on not going in. Let's see if we got it on straight. Oh, that's why, because it's a little crooked. Make sure it's on straight. And that needs to go in a little further. So here, let me examine this. Okay, where's the screw hole catching? It's got to go another quarter of an inch or so further forward. So, whoops. Pull that one back out a little bit. Okay. See, we have a little obstruction here we need to adjust. I already see it. There's a little extra piece of foam here where it's just misaligned. It needs to be trimmed just a bit. So that the elevator will go further forward. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just not allowing it to push all the way in. Not real hard to get to. But not bad being able to put it together with just real primitive simple tools. Okay, let's try that again. Line right up. Now then, that does allow the elevator to go a little further forward. And... Those black plastic things in there, I'm trying to find them. Oh, I think it just felt... You see that yellow screw down there? takes a little bit of trim in there, but you can put it in there and feel it and then put it in there. So The elevator can't be taken off if you crash it and break it. So we're not gluing it on so that if that happens we can just unscrew it here and buy a replacement piece and screw on the rear end. Okay, now then. It screws on two holes here, much like an FMS setup does on their Warbirds, and, and holds it. We did need to make a little trimming right inside for the elevator to be able to go down far enough so that the holes would, would line up. And you were able to do that. This just sits loose. It could be taped down to make it a little more secure. but. We'll pre-bend these so if they're loosen up because they're a little stiff in the beginning. And there's that part of the fuselage. Okay, and what's next, sweetie? Something to do with these things. That... Uh, let's see, I actually I think... Oh, it's not for the wing. Probably helps. You know what, I think those are spares. In case those break, these are spares. These are spare, so let's why don't we put these back in the box so we don't lose them. They're back in their little How bag. How are they connected? Hmm? Okay. To connect them up, get real carefully, pop that open. And we're going to use that hole right there on the outside. And then put you together and just kind of snap together and you do this one up here. I do not have nails, so can you take the thingy out? Can you help you with the nails here? Let's see here. Open up the clevis. Huh? Uh, it's called a clevis. Open up the clevis for you. Okay, 
get your chair. Okay, now then, I'm going to put just a little bit of a bend in this since it's not so, be so tight. And there we go. Now then, your tail feathers are connected. I'll straighten everything up here. We're probably going to need to make a little adjustment there. Alrighty. Okay, now then, just plug in the wheels. Where do the wheels go? Okay, well, instructions. Let's get the wheels. Oh, the wheels go somewhere right there. There's a little plastic slot right there. Grab your wheels. And it's kind of squished shut right now. Let's get something kind of pried open a little bit and give it some help. Fit, isn't it? Isn't it supposed to be tight? Well, you don't want it loose, but a little tighter than I would have expected. A little hard to get it in the box there without pushing it down into the foam, which I see it wanting to do. like that's your battery hatch. We're putting the battery in. Cool, okay. the battery looks cute. It's small. Yeah, it does. It takes a little bitty battery. And we haven't charged your battery yet. We have to charge it? Yeah. Daddy's got the chargers. Even I think Yours already came with the charger. Is that what the beep beep thingy was? That's what Daddy's charger in there for Daddy's more expensive. Where it's really annoying. Well. Hey, you gotta admit, that thing is annoying. She thinks my battery charger is annoying. It is. Look at there. There you go. Now what do you got? You got the, the basic part of the fuselage put together. It looks pretty good. The electronics part. Yeah. Okay. Now then, what's next? Here, let's move your tools out. I'm going to set your battery over here. The other tool over there. Hmm, I don't know. What else do you need on it to fly? Uh, How about a propeller? <laughs> well, let's see. Okay. And I'll move this out of the way for you, too. Okay, this plane is designed to use rubber bands to hold the wing on uh, for trainer purposes, to, for break off. It is a pretty sturdy wing. Comes with some really nice, these are pretty high grade uh, number 60, 64s, but I like these a lot better than standard 64s. They're just a little bigger. Pretty nice deal. Okay. Got him. Okay. It does have a cone. Um, a flight training software in it. However, if you're running a computer that is running Windows 7, it's not compatible. I have tried everything in the world on our computers. It's, uh, it works great, but it's only compatible with Windows 2000, ME, 98, and XP. So if you're still running the older XP operating system, this thing runs really nice right for this airplane. It's just that it's not compatible with, with Windows uh, Vista or... Um, Windows 7, which is what we have on our computers here. Uh, I already did try it on one of my older ones that has XP on it. If you have Windows uh, 7 Ultimate with the XP mode uh, option available to you, this will work, but you have to load it into the XP mode. Uh, just to give you an update on the software for the flight trainer that comes with this airplane. And that's what this is, is the disc for that. Okay, you only need one propeller. It says to it showed two. No, well you got a spare. 
Okay? Now then, the propeller needs to go on, like this, so that it, it turns counterclockwise, mm -hmm. okay? So that it basically screws through the air, okay? It grabs wind from the front and throws it to the rear. So we want the blades out here, like a boat propeller, to fit up here. So, you had it on a little backwards there, so... There. Then we have to put the cone on. Okay, well we're going to have to screw the propeller down first. So we have a spare propeller. These are pretty nice props. I don't have any screws. Oh, hold on. Let's see. What, I want to see what it is here first. This is a... The nose cone on this is actually rubber. That's kind of different. Nice. Shock resistant, squeezable rubber. But shaped little nose cone for the propeller. So, let's kind of set that up there like this. And see how this prop secures. Okay, these are your spare clubs. This is the little bag right there. They need to be put back in the little bag. Kind of briefly going over these real quick. Okay, we need to take one of these screws off. Isn't that called a nut or something? Actually, you're right. This is this is called the nut and the washer. Put your propeller on it. See how see the same shape, and we'll get it to catch on there. Now then, we're going to put this on there, and that on there, you tighten it down. That's kind of a nifty idea, I'm kind of impressed with that. You know, from a beginner's airplane point of view, it's actually well designed to take... Is that supposed to be tight? To take a beating, yes. Now then, we'll want that a little tight, so... If you'll go into Daddy's room there and get a pair of the pliers. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, it comes with your wrench. So. Oh, thank goodness. It comes with the tool to tighten that down. So we just kind of want it snug. <laughs> not real tight. And then it says just to line that up. See the shapes right here? Mm -hmm. Same way as the propeller. And this just... is press fitted, press fitted on. Hmm, might have some questions about the stability of that propeller on there, Pete, with that nose cone, but we'll find out more when we get it actually fired up here. Because it does want to change shape, and that might be a balance problem uh, there. Okay. So, you have just built the fuselage to your airplane, and you've built your wing. Okay, now let's move this older, this glue. Oh, wait, wait, how are we going to get the wings on that? Okay, Matt, we're going to show you. We'll show you in just a minute here. Set your instructions over there. Where's your transmitter at? This? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, goodness. Transmitter. That is a charger. This is the charger for the battery. I'm not that big sport. Well, that's what he said. He sent this to you so you can learn because you asked. I know. So, this right here, you have your own charger. It's quite plugged in here. Plugs into the wall, and this is what charges your battery. And I will teach you about the safeties with. LiPo chargers here in just a minute. Now then, we're going to move the box out of the way here and get your plant up there. Now then, the transmitter box, the remote controller. You put it over there. There it is, thank you. Okay. We are going to, I need that, we're going to need that little bag right there, sweetie. It's got that bind plug in it, I'm sure. 
this thingy. Yeah. We will turn on. This was left on and the batteries are dead. Go get a bunch of double A's out of daddy. Out of out of my candy. This was on and all the batteries are dead. I didn't know that was on. Double A? Double A's. Just bring me the whole pack of them. Oh, okay. And we'll get it all bound up and running for you. This plane does come with just about all the tools you need to not have to do anything with probably the exception of an X-Acto knife to make some trimming. Okay. stick all the way down to zero. These are what you call trims. Just trimming it, okay? Bring the throttle one down to zero and set all the others to the middle. Okay? This is your throttle stick. And we want to turn that up, point it up, turn it on. Yep, over there. We got a green light. Now then, let's plug in your battery here and I'll take it. What we get? Safety from the propeller. So, we're going to turn this on. And see how these are connected? Okay, we're going to need to do a bunny. It's not catch. It's not bound yet. So let's see what it says about binding this Arctic radio. Oh, I have a binding yet. Press the frequency button to bind to a transmitter. Frequency bind successfully. Well, it looks like it's not Let's get your little receiver out here. And where is the battery position? Right there. Plug it into the battery port.
disconnect the bind plug, turn the transmitter back on, make sure the button here is put back into working mode, and everything should come on. All bound up with a solid light. Oh. Now we have elevator, we have rudder, and we have propeller. A little bit of front. Now then, Daddy already hears something that needs to be adjusted. And where is that Allen wrench that they provided? It was somewhere over here. Yes, it was. You mean the L-shaped one? The L shaped that one over there? On the box? Yep, that one on the box. I hear a servo binding just a wee bit. It is the elevator servo. Okay. There. Okay, now then we're going to need to clean up the, the wires just a little bit here. So, let's unplug that, turn off the transmitter. Now that we've got it bound, and I've got these wires kind of cleaned up a little bit here. Those are the way so they're not tangled up. The receiver you can see. There is an Allen wrench provided. There is a set screw on here for the nose steering and the elevator, which looks pretty. square and dead on from first connection. Didn't have to adjust it. But it is an Allen safety keeper. If you need to make any adjustments to the throw when you get it all set up here. So, let's turn it back on again. Put the airplane back upside down. Your, air, your battery would go right here. Inside. If I can get it fitting, get it fitting here, I'm all fingered right now. And holding it securely, we'll just plug it right up. And close the hatch door. Batteries hatch on the bottom. Now then, up is when you pull back, the elevator goes up. When you go left, it's opposite. it goes left. No, you look it goes left, you go left. When you go that way, the rudder goes that way, and the nose steering goes this way. When you pull back, this goes up, so the airplane will go up, and when you push down, it goes down. We're going to need to trim it just a little bit. I see that it's got some throw into it. And these are the adjustments for making real small, minute changes. See? Whoops, actually. Called trim. Okay. And I'm going to check the power on the motor. Bring the propeller up. The propeller should be blowing air behind you. Feel it? Really quiet. Seems very efficient. Nice, you yeah. knocked off one of my posters.
Oh, did I knock off yes. one of the posters and blew, no, I blew all the papers everywhere? Oh. So, looks like the spinner is not going to be too much of a problem. It kind of equals itself out with all the rotation. So, I was worried about it being so flexible and making it out of balance. It's actually very well balanced. Okay, now then. Let's leave this connected just temporarily now. With your wing that was over here drying, with the radio on, pull these caps off of it. Since this has individually driven servo ailerons, over here, see these? Over here, so we're in the video. We'll connect these up. Look in here. Look in here. White to white. Mm -hmm. Just match up all the colors. And plug it all the way in. Uh, we, got loop, we got one with loose wire. And then we would tuck these down inside here like this. Put this wing on here like this. Mm -hmm. Let's check the interrupt. Actually, when you go that way, the aileron should go up and down. The side that you poke it to, the aileron should go up. So then, you take that, I remember bands, one over here, to the back. This side, it's not lined up though. Well, it will once you put the other one on there. To the other side, and you make an X. And then we just center up the wing. Okay, we're only going to put one on for right now, but I would probably put two or three across each one. And then that's how the wing attaches. You got the wire stuck under the wing. Yeah, make sure the wire's not caught in the wing saddle there. Check the other side, yep. Yeah. And then there's your airplane. Now then, you can do the controls. Airplane's on, that's on. The Wing Tiger from Art Tech from Banana Hobbies. And this is what she's gonna learn to fly on. Looks, looks pretty rugged. We'll see how how long it stays together in one piece on a first time flyer. I'm not that crazy. There's your throttle. Go ahead. I'm, hold, I'm holding the airplane, so if you want to take it up, you can. If I do that, I'm standing over here. Okay. Dad, stop it. <laughs> Dog's not sure about that, about the, about that motor. Okay, so let's take the wing off of it here. Flip it upside down. Disconnect your servo wires. Move it back out of the way. Turn that off. Turn that off. I'm not turned off yet. Oh. Yeah. Disconnect the airplane first and then turn it off. Unplug that connector, batteries off, off, and now you can turn it off. All right.